everyone welcome back to a new post today uh, so we are hearing about missiles everywhere whether it is china launching an intercontinental ballistic missile in the pacific sea or uh, iran firing missiles on israel uh, let's have a quick review about what exactly uh, is a missile and are they modern weapons did we use them way back uh, and what is the classification of these missiles and what are the few missiles of India? Let's uh, also look in brief what are the treaties that govern the control of the use of missiles. So if you look into back at history, missiles are not very new. So we missiles date back to the Vedic age and Indian warriors have used astras as missiles of various form due in the and the proof is drawn from Mahabharata and the Ramayana. The deadly weapons and the scriptures regarding the technology were concealed to prevent any further happenings of the Idikasa or an important part of history for the sake of survival of mankind. In olden days, the Astra or the supernatural weapon was controlled by mantras. That's a sound or syllable or a group of words that is considered to be capable of transformation and that could be correlated to the mission control software of modern days. So missiles are not a very modern technology that we are using. The very first missiles that were used were in India were of Tipu Sultan who used them against the British colonial army as early as in the Siri Rangapatnam war of 1792 and the rockets were attached to bamboos or steel spears and powered by gunpowder propellant compacted in a iron chamber uh, with nozzle and igniters and uh, it was this the, the time this was the time uh, after the first world war II when India decided to go ahead with the integrated guided missile development program or uh, under the guidance of our previous president President APJ Abdul Kalam, uh, who launched the first satellite called as the Satellite Launch Vehicle, putting Rohini satellite into the orbit, and then began the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program in the Defense Research and Development uh, Laboratory of Hyderabad way back in 1983. So what exactly is a missile? A missile is nothing but a weapon that is used uh, that uses air trajectory to hit its destination or a target and uh, it is classified into different types based on the type it is called as cruise uh, on ballistic and based on the launch mode it is uh, classified into surface to surface, surface to air, surface to sea missile, air to air missile, surface to air to surface missile, sea to sea, sea, sea to surface and air anti-tank missiles as well. Based on the range we have short range, medium range, intermediate range and intercontinental range and based on the propulsion or the fuel that is used, missiles are further classified into solid propulsion, lift grip propulsion, hybrid propulsion, ramjet, scramjet, cryogenic. On the warhead, they use two types of warheads that's conventional and strategic and on the guidance system, it is classified into wire guidance, command guidance, terrain guidance system, terrestrial guidance system, inertial guidance, beam rider guidance, laser guidance and RF or GPS guidance system. What exactly is a cruise missile? Let me tell you, cruise missile is based on the speed of uh, sound. And so we have different types of school, uh, cruise missiles. You have subsonic, supersonic and hypersonic. Now a cruise missile is an unmanned self-propelled uh, guided vehicle that sustains a flight through aerodynamic lift for most of its flight path and whose primary mission is to place an ordnance or a special payload into the target. They fly within the Earth's atmosphere and use jet engine technology. So they can be characterized on the base, on the speed or uh, size or as subsonic, supersonic and hypersonic. Subsonic it flies at a less at a speed lesser than that of sound so it travels at a speed of 0.8 match and uh, we have uh, uh, supersonic missiles which travel at the speed of sound that is 2 to 3 match so it travels a kilometer approximately in one second and we have brahmos is the only known versatile supersonic cruise missile hypersonic is uh, the five the speed of five times uh, the sound that is five match and we have brahmos 2 that is uh, the we are developing the Brahmos 2 missile, hypersonic cruise missile. And a ballistic missile is a missile that has a trajectory over most of its flight path and regardless of whether or not it is a weapon delivery. Ballistic missiles are characterized according to their range, maximum distance uh, and also measured from along the earth's surface from the point of launch to the point of impact. We have many ballistic missiles which can be launched from sea and also from land. They are Prithvi, Agni, Dhanush missiles. Now on the base of the launch mode, we have surface to surface. It is uh, pro the projectile is launched from a handheld vehicle mounted traveler mounted installation. It is often powered by a rocket, a motor, or sometimes by an explosion. 
surface to air surface to air is designed to launch from the ground to aerial targets like aircraft helicopters so from the ground to helicopters aerial targets surface to sea so they are designed to launch from land to ship in the, that is to targets the uh, to to reach the targets in the sea like ships ships or vessels um, uh, or vessels etc air to air air to air is launched from a aircraft uh, aircraft to target another enemy aircraft in the air itself and air to surface is launched from the air to target a destination on the ground using the gps system c to c is designed to launch from one ship to another c to surface is designed to launch from a ship to a land an anti tank missile is a guided missile primarily designed to hit and destroy heavily armored tanks that um uh, and other uh, armored flight vehicles so anti tanks could be launched from aircraft helicopters tanks uh, and uh, and also from the land as well so based on the range you have short range uh, uh, medium range intermediate range and intercontinental uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles which are more than 5500 kilometers off range uh, intermediate range is 3500 to 5000 medium range is from 1000 to 3000 kilometers and short range below 1000 so based on the propulsion you have solid propulsion where the fuel is aluminium powder so the solid propulsion has an uh, advantage of easily storable and can be the fuel can be handled in any condition very easily so the liquid propulsion uses hydrocarbons so it uses hydrocarbons like uh, hydrocarbon fuel like petrol etc for uh, for the thrust or to fire the uh, missile and in addition so the storage of the missile with liquid fuel is a little bit difficult and complex hybrid missile it uses two stages one solid propulsion and one liquid propulsion so they use a combination of fuels ramjet ramjet engine does not have any turbines like unlike the turbojet engines it achieves comp compression of intake in air by just forward speed of the vehicle and the fuel is injected and ignited and expansion of the hot gases after the fuel injection accelerates the exhaust of the air to velocity to a higher velocity and this pushes the uh, the missile further so so, uh, the aerial vehicle must be moving in a supersonic uh, speed and ramjet engines cannot propel an aerial vehicle from zero to supersonic so they use the engine to propel it till the aerial to, uh, to a aerial level and from there onwards it flies on its own because of the thrust scramjet engine the acronym for supersonic combustion uh, combustion ramjet the difference between scramjet and ramjet is the combustion that takes place in supersonic air velocities through the engine it is mechanically very simple simple and but uh, more b b complex aerodynamically than the jet engine and hydrogen is the normal fuel that is used cryogenic propellant uses liquid gases stored at very low temperature most uh, frequently use liquid ga gases liquid hydrogen as a fuel and liquid oxygen uh, oxygen as the oxidizer cryogenic propellants require special containers and vents to allow the gases to exp uh, escape from evaporating liquids and on the basis of warhead we use conventional warheads and strategic warheads Conven war conventional warheads use high energy explosives and strategic warheads uh, use radioactive materials like nuclear weapons so on the basis of guidance system we have wire guidance uh, and then we have command guidance uh, terrain comparison guidance along with the terrestrial guidance inertial guidance beam rider guidance and laser guidance along with the above so what exactly is your wire, gu wire guidance it's similar to a radio command but is less susceptible to electronic countermeasures the command signals are passed along a wire that is dispensed from the missile after the launch and command guidance involves taking the projectile from the launch site to the platform and transmitting commands by radio radar laser impulses or thin wires or optical fibers and terrain comparison guidance or TERCOM is used invariably by cruise missile the system uses sensitive altimeters to provide the profile uh, of the ground direct below and checks the result against a stored information terrestrial guidance constantly measures the angles and compares them with the pre-programmed angles expected on the missile's trajectory inertial guidance the system is totally contained within the missile and is programmed prior to the launch uh, beam uh, rider guidance the beam rider guidance uh, concept relies on external ground or ship based radar station that transmits the beam of radar towards the target and laser guidance guidance is a laser beam that focuses on the target and the laser beam reflects off the target and gets 
scattered the missile as a laser seeker that can detect an even minuscule amount of radiation and thus moves towards the target and the last one is radio frequency and gps based guidance system used used in the missile the missile uses a gps signal to determine the location of the target over the course of the flight the weapon uses this information and sends the commands to the control services and also with this information adjusts its trajectory as well so these are some of the important uh, 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 let's take a brief look at other missiles so you have intermediate range ballistic missiles all agni you have surface to surface missile which includes prithvi dhanush agni shaurya and prahar the intercontinental ballistic missiles which include agni uh, surya cruise missiles include nirbhay brahmos and brahmos 2 as i just told you short range missiles include trishul akash maitri and barak and anti tank missiles are nag and helena that was launched very very recently these are some of the important issues i thought i should be discussing with you from science and technology point of view with the missiles being heard all around us so you need to know exactly what is a missile and the classification is very very important important from the prelims point of view as well if you did please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment at the end of the video i shall see you for the current affairs of september 17th and october 2nd today until then it's very happy learning